What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. The Corvette is back here in the garage. No longer an empty garage. Uh, Corvette-less, I should say. But the Corvette is not here for long, guys. Because remember, the Corvette has to go get repainted. It is ready to go get repainted. Um, the entire car is not getting repainted. We are just doing the passenger side, the side that got replaced uh, after our hydroplane accident. Uh, and after it's gotten put back together to where it is now. Uh, as you can tell, it's a lot shinier and better looking paint wise uh, after Albert did his thing at Block of Chip with a full paint correction of the entire car except for the panels that we are going to get painted. Uh, remember Mike at Action Auto Body where we are going to be taking the Corvette on Wednesday, this Wednesday, to start the process of getting this passenger side repainted. Uh, he advised me to have Albert, uh, and they know each other, uh, They ha he advised me to not have Albert do the paint correction on this side of the car. So every other panel uh, was touched and hit and paint corrected. Um, and then I told you guys as well is Mike is going to touch up this portion of this front fender here, this rock chip, and that rock chip right there as well with some touch up paint um, while they're already painting the car. Uh, but the latest and greatest is these bad boys right here. As you guys know, we just brought the car back a few days ago from Wheelcraft. I still have to edit that video. Um, I've just been very busy uh, doing a lot of work to get all this stuff paid for. Uh, doing a lot of work to maintain my home, my vehicles, uh, my wife, my kid, uh, everyday life bills and goals and stuff like that and investing as well. So... A lot of money has to be made because a lot of money has to go outside elsewhere to different places um, because I want to be successful in this life and so far I'm doing decently. Uh, I could be obviously doing a lot better if I won the lottery or was a millionaire already but that's what we're working towards guys. So doing the things right now to make sure that happens in my future life uh, to make sure my wife and I and my kid uh, are set up for success and trying to do the right things um, and I just hope and pray they are still the correct things and by the looks of it um, they are and God is continuing to bless me um, I'm continuing to keep up that good karma of doing good things for people um, still continuing to work the landscape business you see we got the truck up there um, that's a different truck you guys uh, didn't buy a new truck uh, I still have to actually make a video for you guys about this but someone did hit my black Dodge Ram uh, so this is a rental uh, lady backed into me while I was out working doing a job so we got the equipment back there covered up because it was raining the other day um, so the work truck hasn't moved and today is Sunday so we'll be going back out tomorrow and the rest of the week this coming week except for Wednesday because we're taking the Corvette in to action off action auto body uh, with mark to get repainted but long story short somebody a lady backed into the uh 01 dodge ram pickup truck the black one that you guys know and have seen on the channel because uh, that's my main work truck uh and had to send it off to a body shop to get uh the door the two front driver side doors replaced and fix a um gas tank strap that had broken off as well so that's what happened with the black truck so that'll be back and i'll make another video for you guys about that but going back to the corvette guys um eric at Willcraft and his guys and his team there did a phenomenal job uh making these rims that as you guys saw in previous videos real nasty looking made these things look absolutely great i am so happy with how they turned out these things look awesome we did leave the center caps uh the regular uh color and i don't think they look bad at all uh, even right now as you can look at them on camera they don't even look that much different from the actual chrome which is a good thing and i was pretty uh much hoping that it would look just like this and not really i guess off and bad that this was different from the actual chrome um to where i would have to buy just a chrome center cap and take these off because the main point is i wanted the commemorative edition logo and lettering to stay uh, because this is an 04 commemorative edition car you guys know the stripes are going back on it right when it's done with mike at action auto body and going right back to albert at block a chip to get the stripes painted on 
and a PPF film and some ceramic coat. Uh, and then I actually just found out a couple of days ago that where I found a company to uh, get the window tent started. So I did find somebody for some window tent because uh, you guys know we had to take that off for the inspection to get this car back and registered in the first place because they won't do it and won't send it through inspection if you, you have the window tent on the vehicle. So again, we're fish bowling right now, but that's okay. Window tent will be back here soon. Got an estimate for that and a company to do it. So hopefully after that, everything will be done and we will be ready for June 24th at Block of Chip the Car Show, guys. I'll keep reminding you guys about that car show as well because I'm very excited. Hoping to have this thing done and ready by then. Um, also looking at some Corbo A4 seats. Um, I've looked at some pricing this morning, actually, and it'll be about a thousand two hundred dollars uh for some corbo a4 seats to install these i'll probably get them from corbo themselves i know some other third-party companies uh sell them um, but the cheapest price that i found so far is just getting them straight from corbo so that's what we'll probably do um they are i am going with the red um i actually We'll make another video for you guys if we you guys want to go with red anyway. But I feel like the red, and since we're going to have red accents in the car already, the red and black seats will stick out pretty good and look really nice inside the interior of this Corvette. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to update you guys again. The Corvette is here and back uh, from getting the wheels chromed, uh, but not for long because in two days here we are going right to Streetsboro. Mike at Action Auto Body to get the Corvette repainted. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.